After day one of the Big South Baseball Championships, the Liberty Flames find themselves in an early 0-1 hole in this conference tournament. Gardner-Webb knocked off Liberty 16-7 here at the Lexington County Ballpark on Thursday. Running Bulldogs scored early and often in this one. Gardner-Webb put three runs on the board in the first inning, five runs in the second inning. Flame starter Evan Mitchell, only two innings of work today, gave up eight runs, only two of which were earned. Gardner-Webb cashed in on a couple of early Flames errors from the infield, and the running Bulldogs never looked back. Led it 9 nothing after four innings. Flames did try to cut into the deficit. Jake Barbie had a grand slam in the fifth inning to cut it to 9-4, to four, but too little too late as the running Bulldogs would add on late and go on to win this one again by the final of 16-7. to seven. Big day for Barbie at the plate with five RBIs. But that was the lone bright spot for the Flames and head coach Scott Jackson today. You know, Jake's, you know, we knew it in the fall. You know, Jake was one of our best guys and, you know, put a good swing on a two strike pitch, not trying to do too much. I thought some of his, you know, some of his at bats were really good today. Some loud outs, um, some balls that were squared up, hit a deep fly ball to center. So, you know, just you hope that gets him going and, and carries into tomorrow and it rubs off on some other guys. I don't think there's anything, you know, that, that we need to do different. I mean, you know, we lead this league in fielding percentage and, you know, it just, it just looked like we were a little tentative there and didn't get a good hop. and. You know, it, 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 you know, it, it, you, you just move on. Um, you know, it, our, our guys uh, have done it all year. You know, koala has been one of our, our steadiest guys out there, and you know, they didn't make a play. So, you know, you move on, and you got to pitch yourself out of that one. Um, you know, it, it's going to happen. Um, we didn't do that today, and, and certainly, you know, couldn't put up some zeros out of the bullpen. So, we got to, you know, we got to be better. So next up for the Flames, the number two seat Liberty will play an elimination game here Friday morning at 9.30 a.m. from the Lexington County Ballpark. If the Flames win that game, they will move on to Saturday, play another elimination game there. The path to the championship now, a tough one for Liberty. Liberty must win on Friday, win two games on Saturday, and then win a semifinal elimination game on Sunday before getting to the conference championship game Sunday afternoon. So it won't be easy, but the Flames have done it before. Remember the last tournament title for Liberty in 2013 came after the Flames lost the first game of that tournament. 9.30 a.m. first pitch against either Presbyterian or UNC Asheville here Friday morning for Liberty in an elimination ball game. Jack DeGroat will get the start on the mound for the Flames. In Lexington, South Carolina, for the Liberty Flames Sports Network, I'm Nick Pierce.